Hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Cassidy. If it's not, thanks for always tuning into my videos. Today's video is an unhaul. I have lots of books that need to be taken off my shelf. And so we're gonna do it together. I haven't actually taken any of them off yet, which is like weird for me. Normally I feel like I have a pile, but I decided to just kind of like do it in the moment with all of you guys. Right off the bat, these bad boys. The Wheel of Time series, I DNF'd the series. These can go. I don't need them taking up so much space on my shelf when I didn't like them to begin with. The first of our pile. The next to go, the Runa King series, the Chorus of Dragons. This could be a shock to a lot of you. I think that some of you know that I gave book two five stars and I have raved about this series. However, earlier this year I DNF'd the House of Always and I haven't wanted to get back to it. I literally have a bookmark still in here. I DNF'd it at 249, so quite a ways into the story. I just really didn't vibe with it anymore. I found it kind of annoying. I didn't love where the story was and what was happening. I think it's time to unhaul the physical books. I do still own the audiobooks because I bought them on Audible. So if I decide to go back to the series, I can finish it, but I don't think it's a series that I care about owning anymore because like, I didn't love book three. I DNF book four. I don't know if we'll ever get to book five. So these books can go. I actually own all of them, but one is at my sister's house. So I should tell her to give that back to me so it can go bye-bye. How long do you think this pile lasts? Okay, next. His Majesty's Dragons by Naomi Novik can go. I read this, I didn't like it. I'm really sad because I wanted all the books because their spines are so cool. But this just wasn't a story for me. It was very character driven, very slow, very much about our main character bonding with his dragon and what that meant for the two of them. Just personally not a big fan of this type of story. Ah, this one that's hiding in my hob shelf. <laughs> Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. To be honest, I'm probably gonna ask my sister if she wants this because it's pretty and she'll probably want it to sit on her shelf. I give most Sanderson's five stars. This was a two star read for me. I really disliked this story. I found it incredibly boring and didn't even have that cool hard magic system for me to like love that Sanderson normally has. I read it in my Barbie vlog if you wanna check out my full thoughts on it, but this does not need to stay on my shelves because I need more room for better books. She Who Became the Sun can leave my house, but this one's for a good reason. I actually just got the special editions from the Broken Binding. Look at how stunning these are. Like, I'm obsessed with them. So I don't need to own my paperback anymore because I just have a copy of this and I don't need two copies. So I'm going to unhaul this one because I have these and they're like so stunning. What else, what else, what else can go? This can go bye-bye. I just pulled some indie books off. Both of these were my Spitbo semi-finalists. I will be unhauling these. However, I'm going to keep them in the house for now just because I want them for my final video, but I will be unhauling these. I don't want them to sit on my shelves anymore. Although I enjoyed both of them, they're just not books I love and I'd rather have room for other books or not books I plan on continuing on in their series. However, I definitely think that you should check them out because there was an audience for both of these. This audience was just not me. Check out my Spitbo semi-finalist vlog if you want more of my thoughts on both of these because they were incredible books. I will also be unhauling an incarnation of shadow and light. This was sent to me by the author. Thank you so much for sending me your book. Me and Mel did read this for our book club earlier this year and we didn't get very far in. I got about 100 pages in before I decided to DNF it. It was just reading a little bit too YA for me and most of the people in the book club. It's just not a book for me. I hope it finds its audience and that's not with me. So by unhauling it, I can give it that chance. I will be taking out this little note that the author sent to me though because obviously it's very nice of them. Okay, a fantasy romance I'm getting rid of is Savage Lands. I don't know if you saw my 72 hours in the Smut Den vlog. I despise this book. I hate read it. I had fun hate reading it, but it was definitely a hate read. There's no reason for me to keep this book because I did not enjoy it. I don't plan on continuing on, although I do really like this cover. It's already too big. You can't even see it. I grabbed some horrors to unhaul. We have The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. This story just didn't vibe with me because of the Carrie retelling portion of it. I just already knew the entire story and I didn't find it very engaging. However, the themes in this were really done really well and I liked that part of it, but I don't need it to sit on my shelf anymore. Whisper Down the Lane by Clay McCloy Chapman can also leave my house. I loved Ghost Eaters by the same author, so I had very high hopes for it. However, I found this one kind of boring and I didn't love it. I also hate the little flap thing. I don't know what it's called. So I have his other books in hardcover, even though I don't really love hardcover, but I like hardcover over the flaps. And so I just don't need to keep this. It can go somewhere else. I might ask my sister if she wants it. 
The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher. I did enjoy this. I gave it three stars, but I didn't love it. I don't plan on reading anything else from T. Kingfisher as this is like the third time I've tried T. Kingfisher and I still didn't love this and I feel like this is the most loved one. I just don't think that T. Kingfisher is a writer for me. I will also be unhauling the failed Technomancer Robot Cannibal Apocalypse book one. Honestly, this was sent to me by the author. I apparently agreed to this about two years ago and it just got sent to me and I didn't remember and it's a book I am no longer interested in so thank you to the author for sending it to me however it's just it's just not my vibe so I will be unhauling it again I'm taking the letter out the letter is a very nice someone else will probably love this I know my taste a little bit better than I used to and there we go I'm unhauling The Girl in the Mountain by Mark Lawrence. I own the hardcover now to match my entire Mark Lawrence collection, so I don't need the paperback because it would just sit very lonely on my shelf. I don't need two copies, actually technically three because I have a mass market paperback to do annotations in. I have admitted defeat in my buddy read with my sister and her roommate, and I will be unhauling Fire and Blood by George R.R. R. Martin. We buddy read The Lord of the Rings. It was hard. So then we were like, oh, let's buddy read something better. So we decided to buddy read Fire and Blood. This was about a year ago. Uh, we have pick not picked it up past the 10 pages that we were initially supposed to read because it was so dry and none of us really liked it. This is more like a textbook about the history of the Targaryen line. I wanted to read it when House of Dragons came out. I was interested. I don't really like the textbook narrative. I would rather a linear story and this just didn't really work for me. So instead of it sitting on my shelf, I've decided to unhaul it. If we decide to buddy read again, maybe I'll just pick up the ebook because this is not needed anymore in my house. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 books so far. I think I'm gonna break some people's hearts with this one. I'm unhauling the Harper Hall trilogy by Anne McCaffrey. To be honest, I should probably just unhaul all my paperbacks of this series. I have a couple hardcovers that will stay, but first off, I hate that I can't have them all matched. Honestly, I'm just gonna do it. I'm unhauling them all. Let's unhaul these two as well. Because like, I did not like Dragon Quest. I love Dragonflight. Dragonflight was a five star read for me, but Dragon Quest was like a one or a two star. Since then, I've had no want to pick up more in the series, but also I have no want to own them when this is happening. And I don't really want to own them all in mass market paperback anyways, so I think that this will be a story that if I decide to come back to, I will just read it on like Scribd or from the library or things like that. But like, this just bothers the crap out of me. I like my books to all match. I like the series to all be together in like the correct size and format. So this is just like not working for me. <laughs> and the fact that I have not wanted to pick these up since I read Dragon Quest is just bummed me out when I look at these. So I just don't want to look at them anymore. Oh, I have another one. I see it. It's up there. I got a couple more. The Witch Collector by Charissa Weeks. I recently read this fan row and I didn't love it. I didn't hate it, but there's no reason for me to hold on to it. Just wasn't really my cup of tea. I think a lot of people will love this. It was in a recent vlog. I think the last week of Battleathon, it was in there. It just wasn't my type of story, so no reason to hold on to it. The Atlas Six by Olive Blake. I did like this, but I've heard not so great things about the second book. And also because I own the self-published version, I've never wanted to own the second book or the third book because they wouldn't match and I didn't like this enough to rebuy it. So I've decided why is it even sitting on my shelves? Like I don't, I don't need it on my shelf, so it can go. And then I think the last book I will be unhauling. Let me look to see if there's anyone else that I can think about. Okay, there's, there's two more actually. This one kind of makes me sad to go. Ascendant by Michael R. Miller. I really, really do love the cover on this book. So I'm kind of sad to see it go. However, I didn't love this. I gave it three stars. I'm, I've been doing these like dragon book reading vlogs for a while now. I've definitely started to learn some of my tastes about dragons and just like his boy and his dragon stories, things like Aragon don't necessarily work for me. There was some really interesting concepts in this, however, still like not a series I plan on continuing. So no reason to keep it on my shelf and it can go bye-bye. And then last, but certainly not least, we will be unhauling Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. I'm so sad because this was a five-star prediction turned so bad. I gave this two stars. There is no reason to keep it. It can leave. We don't need to ever look at it again. It's fine. I know. I even bought the hardcover. 
dollars for me to give it two stars. This can go. It just makes me sad. It can leave. It is really pretty though. Bye. It's pretty big. It go up very high. Very, very, very high. But there we have it. That's my unhaul. We did a good old. Thirty books. That was not intentional, but we landed on a great round number. I love that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in this little unhaul. It's definitely needed to do sometimes. Now I have so much room. Like getting rid of Wheel of Time and Chorus of Dragons has left so much room on that shelf. I'm so excited for it. As always, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video and you'd like to leave me an emoji just to say you were here, leave me a tomato emoji. I just like tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my head, but I like tomatoes. And then if you want to connect with me on other platforms, my bookstagram, my book Twitter, my Goodreads, and my Patreon, all linked in the description bar below. Have yourselves an absolutely remarkable day.